Hello, I am Nurul Athar, PMP, CPHIMS and ITR certified and welcome to my presentation titled An Introduction to Healthcare Information System for Beginners. Healthcare Information System HIS First we will see what is definition of healthcare information system. A health information system refers to system designed to manage healthcare data. This includes system that collect, store, manage and transmit a patient's electronic medical record EMR, a hospital operational management or a system supporting healthcare policy decision. Now we will see some examples of HI system. Patient registration system, admission discharge and transfer ADT system, electronic health records EHR system, clinical decision support system CDS. Computerized Physician Order Entry CPOE, Barcode Medication Administration BCMA, Radiology Information System RIS, Picture Archiving and Communication System PACS, Laboratory Information System LIS, Remote Patient Monitoring RPM, and Healthcare Revenue Cycle Management RCM. Let's go to first Patient Registration System. This is game start source patient registration system. A patient registration system is the creation of an electronic record of patient information and the collection of patient's demographic, contact, physician and health insurance related information. Now let's go to the second. Administer discharge and transfer ADT system. An ADT system is usually the foundation for other types of healthcare information system because it holds valuable patient information such as medical record, number, age, name, and contact information. Using the ADT system, patient information can be shared when appropriate with other healthcare facilities and systems. Now let's see electronic health record EHR. An electronic health record is the systemized collection of patients, population, electronically stored health information in a digital format. These records can be shared across different healthcare settings. Records are shared through network connected enterprise wide information system or other information networks and exchange. EHR may include a range of data including demographics, medical history, medication and allergies, immunization status, laboratory test results, radiology images, vital signs, personal statistics like age and weight and billing information. Now see what is electronic medical record and personal health records. An, in, an electronic record of health related information on an individual that can be created, gathered, managed and consulted by authorized clinician and staff within one healthcare organization. And personal health record. An electronic record of health related information on individual that confirms the nationally recognized interoperability standards and that can be drawn from multiple sources while being managed, shared and controlled by the individual. I will move to clinical decision support system CDS. A clinical decision support system is a health information technology system that is designed to provide physicians and other health professionals with clinical decision support, that is, assistance with clinical decision making tasks. Now let's see computerized physician order entry CPOE.
computerized physician order entry, sometimes referred to as computerized provider entry or computerized provider order management, is a process of electronic entry of medical practitioner instruction for the treatment of patients under his or her care. Now you see barcode medication administration BCMA. Barcoded Medication Administration BCMA, is an inventory control system that uses barcodes to prevent human error in distribution of prescription medication at hospital. The goal of BCMA is to make sure that patients are receiving the correct medication at the correct time by electronically validating and documenting medication. The information encoded in barcodes allow for the comp comparison of medication being administrated with what was ordered for the patient. Now you see radiology inform system risk. Risk basing function, patient management, scheduling, patient tracking, results reporting, image tracking and billing. A radiology information system is the core system for electronic man management of imaging departments. The major function of risk can include patient scheduling, resource management, examination of performance tracking, reporting, result distribution and procedure billing. Now we see picture are coming and communication system packs. A picture or coming and communication system is a medical imaging technology which provides economical storage and convenient access to image from multiple modalities. What is modality? Is a term used in radiology to refer to one form of imaging, example CTC scanning. It is often used in the purular form, e.g. various modalities can be applied to evaluate this liver lesion. Now let's see laboratory information system LIS. A laboratory information system is a software system that records, manages, and stores data for clinical laboratories. An LIS has traditionally been most adept at sending laboratory test order to lab instrument, tracking those orders and then recording the result, typically to a searchable database. Now let's see patient, sorry, remote patient monitoring, RPM. Remote patient monitoring is a technology to enable monitoring a patient outside of conventional clinic setting, such as in home or in a remote areas, which may increase access to care and decrease healthcare delivery costs. Now let's move to next healthcare revenue cycle management RCM. The patient journey, pre registration, registration, charge capture, utilization review, coding, third party follow up, claim submission, patient responsibility, remittance processing.
Revenue cycle management refers to process of identifying, collecting, and managing the practice revenue from peers based on the service provided. A successful RCM process is essential for healthcare practice to maintain financial viability and continues continue to provide quality care for their patients. Okay, that brings us to end of my presentation and thanks for watching. I hope you would have found my information useful. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel.